Hi there, I'm still using the Nikon D800 to take all my photos. Is it for photographing source material for my paintings, such as animals, objects and still lifes? Or is it to make photographs of my paintings that I then send to the clients or post on my website on social media? I use a D800 over and over again. So is it wise to buy a Nikon D800 or another DSLR in this year? Let's find out. The Nikon D800 was launched in 2012 and was revolutionary for that time with its 36 megapixel sensor. That same sensor still gives me incredible results. The Nikon Color Science renders beautiful colors and skin tones. I've already taken thousands of photos myself with its workhorse. It never lets me down. And don't forget that I'm using this camera for commercial purposes. So it's not out of some kind of nostalgic feeling that I'm using this camera. These paintings that I photographed with the D800 have all been sold. As you can see, I use this camera professionally. The dynamic range of this camera is truly amazing. You get a lot of detail in highlights and deep dark shadows. Furthermore, the D800 gives clear images with bright colors. Then there are ergonomics. At 900 grams, this camera is absolutely not light. Combined with this Sigma 50 millimeters, together you'll get 1 kilogram and 700 grams. This is a brick to walk around with. If you are into street photography, then this camera maybe isn't your thing. Personally, I really like this weight and because I have quite large hands, this grip is simply fantastic. This is just how a camera should feel. The balance between body and lens is just perfect. Since this is a professional camera, you have dedicated buttons for a lot of functions such as ISO, metering functions and autofocus functions. That way you don't have to search endless in menus to make adjustments. This will save you time. With the battery I can easily get through the day. This is also one of the advantages of a DSLR compared to a mirrorless camera. Of course there is also the large viewfinder. This is an optical viewfinder and not a TV screen like the mirrorless cameras. Of course everyone has their own preferences, but I prefer to look in an optical viewfinder. It is also a large round viewfinder and not such a small keyhole that you have to look into. This really adds value to this camera. The F-mount guarantees that you can connect a lot of lenses to this camera. You can perfectly combine the Nikon D800 with lenses that are over 40 years old without any adapter. That makes it interesting to score beautiful second-hand lenses at a bargain. But also newer glass such as this Sigma gives you stellar results. And oh yes, use a good RAW converter such as Capture One Pro or Darktable to squeeze the very best out of your raw files. Because images say much more than words, I will now show you some examples shot with the Nikon D800.
Okay, for what purposes can you use this camera? Well, if you do studio photography, this camera is very suitable. This sensor gives you almost a medium format camera experience. If you like to shoot landscapes, this camera can fulfill all your needs. This camera is also extremely suitable for portrait photography. The skin tones are displayed superbly. I mainly use this camera for wildlife photography. Although the focus is not the fastest, the results are astonishing every time. And of course I use the Nikon D800 for photographing my paintings. You can get this Nikon D800 for around 600 to 800 dollars all day long. For that amount you have a professional camera with 36 megapixels. To compare if you want to buy a new mirrorless camera, you can barely buy an entry level model for that amount of money. And if you do sell the D800, you will definitely not lose much money. Then again, I would be surprised that you would want to sell this camera. By the way, I know some people who regretted selling their Nikon D800. I was definitely not paid by Nikon to make this video. It's just my experience and enthusiasm for this camera that I want to share with you. So is it wise to buy a Nikon D800 this year for photography? Well, if you can find one with a shutter count that is not too high, don't hesitate. In any case, I will be photographing my paintings and animals for a long time with this megapixel monster. I really hope you enjoyed this video and found value out of it. If you want even more information about my paintings, make sure to find my website by clicking the link down below in the description. If you like this video, hit the like button and leave a comment below, but make sure to subscribe to this channel and click that notification bell so you'll be notified when I have another fresh new video coming up. Thank you so much for joining me, it was an absolute pleasure to have you here. I'll see you again in the next video. Take care.